Hey guys, Luke here in a very cozy, very ornate throne, and I'm just like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm like, it's cold outside, and I'm wearing a bunch of like fuzzy, like pajama, like flannel, and I got my toque, and I'm really, I'm just like cozied right up in here. But we still got an auction that's going on this weekend. We have several. I like, I have my clipboard because like it's extensive. But uh, Cassie, my main lady, as always, has joined me again. Say hi, Cassie. <laughs> showing off showing off my here's how dumb I am instead of calling this a throne the first time I saw it I said oh it's a king chair they pay me to write here anyway um, I'm gonna go through the vehicles and Cassie's gonna show you around some of the stuff we got up for auction this Sunday so in order uh, you'll see him scrolling just below my king chair here as well so we have a 2013 Nissan Versa a 2018 Hyundai Elantra a 1997 Ford F250 a 2006 Pontiac G6, a 2007 Chevrolet Silverado, 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 King Chair. This is the kind of brain I'm working with today. Uh, a t 2007 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. You know what? It's it's a long day. It's trash outside. We got a lot of auctions. My brain's just, you know what? Get, get back to the floor, camera slave. Silverado. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> and if. And I have it on tape, so that's um, 20. And a uh, if that wasn't enough, we have a bunch of like heavy-duty semi trucks in. So we have a 2014 Freightliner Cascadia and a 2012 Volvo semi truck. And if that's not enough for you, we also you can be very hurtful sometimes. <laughs> we also got a millet car hauler to take them to and from with. But I mean, you guys are looking around some of the stuff Cassie's showing you right now. We got all kinds of ugh, appliances. We've got furniture. We've got leather, leatherette, sofas, sectionals. There's like these country style like dining table. Just still adjusting to the size of the throne right behind me. All made out of like that Mexican pine wood. Really like rustic and cozy auction this weekend. Like I'm really, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get out of this chair very soon. <laughs> But I mean, that's not all. Of course, we got nightstands, we got bookshelves, all kinds of furniture, whatever you guys are looking for, all kinds of decor. But I mean, that's not all. We also have like a lot of, and I'm pretty sure I know where they came from, but they're um, like just tons of computer monitors and desktops and laptops, like Asus and Dell and all kinds of stuff. And it's all going for whatever price you guys decide it goes for this weekend. So if you too feel like you want to cozy up, if you look out the window this Sunday, as I think we all did this morning and said to yourself, uh uh. No, I don't care for any of that. Far too white and cold. Well, this Sunday, cozy up with a loved one and, I don't know, bid on some fun stuff because we had a lot of stuff in this week. I mean, especially, like, just off to my left, I think Cassie was showing you those earlier when she was mocking me. We have a bunch of, like, really cool jewelry boxes in. I mean, not just that. We have tons of, like... Like, the amount of gold stuff we have in this, like, like, we have gold stamps, for instance. That's the first thing that threw me. But, like, we have 14 karat gold jewelry over there. There's diamond jewelry, ruby jewelry, sapphire jewelry. You see how close I was to mispronouncing sapphire just there? <laughs> she laughing behind me. <laughs> and they all come with their appraisal documents. There's all kinds of antiques and collectibles in this week. Whatever you guys are looking for, cozy up this Sunday and, I don't know, have yourselves a fun auction. But... Moving on from this Sunday sale, because we have one, two, three sales going on this weekend apart from that, not including the Lethbridge sale on Monday or the Saturday sale on Saturday. So, in order, first, tomorrow evening, the coin auction. So, Lethbridge tomorrow night at 6 p.m. has their coin sale. It's the last day of that if you guys are looking to get any kind of silver dollars or Morgan dollars or banknotes. Maybe there's a misprint of the queen, but she's got a mustache. Who can say? You got to look through it to know for yourself. But that's all ending tomorrow night at 6, so if you guys are looking to put a little extra change in your pocket, that's the opportunity to do so. Then, the same, the next day rather, the Saturday, comic sale, all kinds of comic books going. We have like, like often I'll say like first appearances from, because the, the copy I wrote for it is, I like it, so I use it. It's like first appearances from the 20th century's greatest, you know, yada yada. Seriously though, it actually is, like X-Men number 6, like Iron Man number 2, Spider-Man number 23, like it's weird, especially at my age, to see like single digit comic book numbers, unless it's like a reprint or like 
some new whatchamajangled series that just came out. Like, this is what I mean by cozy. Look at that. That's a comfy knit sweater with rabbits on it. Like, we're just like... Winter has begun, guys. The holiday season is upon you. So if you're looking to get some shopping done, this is a decent weekend to get it done. Um, then, moving on. Our same day, Saturday, the fitness center. So our fitness sale closes out. It's done. It's over this Saturday. And it's all out in Innisfail. And it's all... I mean, if you're in Red Deer or anywhere even near Innisfail and you're thinking to yourself, you know, I've chunked up during the winter season. You're looking outside and you're thinking, man, that ham at Thanksgiving and the subsequent other ham since, they really have been unkind to me. Well, forego your potential New Year's resolutions because this Saturday we're closing out an entire fitness center. We got rowing machines, there's ellipticals, there's free weights, there's kettlebells, whatever you guys are looking for to get toned up before the winter is over. Well, Saturday's your chance to do it. Man, as if that wasn't enough. We have all kinds of other auctions up for bidding right now. There's a collectibles auction in which we got a Gretzky rookie card. You guys have probably heard me hammer on about that incessantly. We have our antique sale, Alex. We just finished Alex's sale. It's right behind. Cassie, how close are you to it? Oh, you're really close. Alex has got tons of antiques in there. There's all kinds of old timey and old, like from like the high like grade antiques, like there's Mozart, not Mozart, Beethoven. My music teacher would absolutely kill me for mixing that up. Beethoven original works in there. There's all kinds of like, it's, it's the fun kind where it's like the high grade antiques that like cost an arm and a leg to like the kind of kitsch that I just like having around. As if to further compound the coziness of everything. Lethbridge has got a jewelry sale up right now. If you don't find any jewelry you're looking for this weekend, check out that other, cause like, guys, the amount of auctions we got going on, if you, if you got anyone on your Christmas list that you're having trouble with, well, I mean, just statistically, we got something for them. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find a blankie. I might try on that sweater because uh, I am a comfy boy right now. And uh, yeah, from the auction fam, we'll catch you this Sunday. Also, potentially tomorrow and this Saturday. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hope you, have, uh, hope you have a cozy weekend. Stay warm, and, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Cassie, you want to say bye? <laughs> bye. See you guys. Silverado.